here I am logged into my portfolio at Warwick, which is built on Mahara open source technology. By default, as I've mentioned, anything you create within this environment is visible only to you. And so I've suggested it as a suitable place to create your own reflective diary for LN306. So if this is something that you have not yet done, uh, here's a quick guide to how to do it. You can either jump in through the create button here, the big button at the top here, or perhaps an easier way is to open this um, dashboard menu, open create, and here you're going to see the link directly into journals. So journals is Mahara speak for a diary. And you can see here I've created several diaries. And just for the sake of demonstration, I've created a diary for LN306. How did I do it? Well, it was very simple. I just clicked Create Journal. I gave the journal a name and a very brief description. And I clicked Create Journal. So I'll take you back to the one I've already made. And if we look at uh, this diary, we can either jump in at the top level and see all the posts. Or we can just click New Entry and make a new entry for a day. So let's first of all just jump in to the post I've created here for today. So as you can see, it's uh, <laughs> pretty sparse. Now, in order to make this, let me show you what I did. I clicked New Entry. And let's do one for yesterday. And I just typed text. And it's as easy as that. At the end, when I'd finished, I clicked Save Entry. Uh, but it generally saves as you go along. So you can very easily put text in here. So simply type in. Obviously, you can do uh, There's a little bit of um, detail you can do here with the formatting if you want to. Now, you can also put in links. And in order to put a link perhaps to some media that is external, perhaps a video that you wanted to refer to, all you need to do is to put some text in. And then highlight it. Click the insert link button there and pop the URL in to the video. So if I just jump into YouTube, and choose perhaps one of the videos that we looked at recently. So we could look at, um, let's, in fact, let's just grab one that's in my channel already on virtual exchange. So I have a, a, a big collection here of all sorts of videos for virtual exchange. So let's take this one. Now, if you've got a video in YouTube that you want to share or refer to, click share underneath the video, grab the copy link, which will automatically paste the URL onto your clipboard, come back into the text that you've made here and into the dialogue it goes. And now you can see that the text I had is now a hyperlink. Now here I'm in edit mode. I'm editing this diary entry. I can save the entry. I could add files here if I wanted to, if I've got additional documentation perhaps that I wanted to add in another form. Now you can see that my diary has got two entries, one for yesterday, one for today. Both contain a link to a video. Clearly you'll have lots more to say than I have in these reflective posts because I'm just doing them for demonstration. Now, the beauty of doing this, that when this is all private and visible only to you, is you will build up a bank of reflections. And when you come to the stage where you're creating your web page, so let's just show you that process. And of course, this is all in separate tutorials as well. If I were creating a page and I wanted to add, I'm going to use one of my tests here, a test page that I have already. Well, that's a collection, we'll come into a page. Then, and I want to edit it, I'll click edit. I might perhaps want to show one of my journal entries. Now, because I've made those journal entries already within Mahara, that's very straightforward. 
So I might say, OK, I want a recent journal entry or I want this specific journal entry. And with these widgets, you just drag and drop them and put them into the page. Now, this will then show me the system is showing me a dialogue here, showing me all my recent uh, journal entries. And I'm going to choose my diary and save that. And now you can see both my journal entries are holding up here. And of course, this is within the editing interface. So let's see what they'll look like. And the page is shared. This is a page with lots and lots of different things on. Let's click display page. And you can see both diary entries now are hyperlinks. And they will inherit the same permissions as this play page page has. So the page becomes populated with the information that I choose to share and show. So keeping a diary within my portfolio, especially a learning diary, a reflective diary, is a really useful thing to do. It will save you the time of uh, writing things down and then maybe photographing them and uploading them as images, which is perhaps a little bit clunky to see and to read. And it will also give you ways of reusing that information if you want to in, at a future point. That's all you need to do.